Hello guys, New Apple Times here, welcome to a new video and today as you can see I am with my unboxing setup and that's because I have an unboxing for you. So today we're unboxing this. This is the new, well it's actually not new but it's the Kojic Smart Outlet and yeah it's uh, it has three USB ports, three independent HomeKit controllable uh, plugs, regular plugs and yeah it's pretty nice because as you can see it works with HomeKit, it works with Google Assistant and it does work with Alexa thanks to the Alexa skills but what interests me here is that it works with HomeKit which is great and yeah we will we'll need the, the Kojic app which I should download and actually I had seen about this, read about this but I thought it was just available with the American plugs standard, not with the European ones, but apparently it is. So yeah, I picked it up. It was it cost me 40 euro, which is nice considering, for example, that the Elgato If uh, If Energy costs 50 euro, and yeah, this normally retails for 60, but I got it a little bit off, which is nice. So let's try to open it. Okay, and. Whoa, it's actually quite big. Oh, nice. So you actually, if you can see here, we get a few labels like iPad, iPhone, iPod, or iPhone, iPod. And yeah, that's it. Very simple. Right here are a couple switches to control manually each independent button, which is nice because it's always nice that you can control them here rather than having to depend on another on the phone because most of the time the phone will be handy but probably it isn't sometimes so it's nice you can control them manually and in the back just a lot of information and it tells you actually let me show you right here as you can see it tells you the, the amperage and the voltage of each individual USB port so there are actually there are the three of them are 5 volts and the Two of them that say iPhone or iPod are 1 ampere, and this one for iPad is 2.1 amperes. So that's nice. And this is actually quite big, it's going to replace uh, one that I have here, which is a regular plug. And I also like this because it's something that I will announce later this year. That's something big that's happening next year, and this will be quite handy for that. And it's actually quite heavy and quite big, which I didn't expect, but it's going to be nice anyway. So what we should do now is plug this in and configure it via the home app and we'll do that process. Okay, so I just plugged it in as, and as you can see here, this light started blinking. These two, no, probably because they're off. That's right, if I turn them on, they will start... Oh, actually, this, the two not blink. Well, We'll start with that one. So the first thing we need to do is download the Kogi app. So once you can click here and once we download it, we can open it. So this actually is a really nice app because as you can see, it shows you all of the HomeKit accessories that you have. Not only the Kogi ones, which is nice if you want to control them alternatively to the Apple's stock home app. And we can click on the plus sign for... And... Well, too much information I'll just click next and you can see you can use the HomeKit code to set it up and it just found it and we're adding this accessory to home this is the my the instructions actually probably should have seen them before but uh, I didn't okay so as you can see we have here our accessory we want to to the network allow and it's right now connecting it might take a little while and yes, yeah, I said this is quite nice and differs from others because these three plugs are completely independent from one another so for example with the setup I have right now I have a regular outlet and I have that connected to an Elgato if energy so I can control it via HomeKit however I can turn on all the switches at once or off but all at the same time this way I can turn on and off the three independent ones however the three USB ports do not 
uh, are not independently controllable and will probably depend on this first one or probably not <laughs> we'll learn about it later meanwhile this is still adding it to my network and it actually added it it says default room outlet 1 we'll, we'll say it's like this this is just for me in Spanish to be able to control it via Siri we'll add it to my room and yeah it's a powerpoint nice I'll include it in my favorites and we're gonna have a problem because I have my favorites full already but yeah so if I tap identify accessory you can see this uh, starts blinking oh this is the outlet too so nice we're configuring every outlet one by one I'll call it enchufe dos and it's also in my room, my bedroom. Next, and next, the outlet 3. So if I tap done, all the different outlets are added. And as you can see, if I tap one button here, I will turn it on and off. And the same for this one, and the same for this one. So that's nice. Now going to Apple's home app. Right here I have all of my things and as you can see I have the three of them right here. Turn them on, off and yeah that's pretty much how it works. If we go into settings here, not not much we can see. You can see a status, no, notifi no notification uh, option and we can group them with other accessories to control them together. But that pretty much uh, takes all the point out of um, having independent outlets so I'm not gonna do it so yeah this is basically everything you need to configure it as you saw it's pretty straight away you just plug it in scan the code and then see every outlet and yeah that's pretty much it okay so as you can see I just set up the Kojig smart outlet and this is what it looks like here in my desk and yes, you can see right now I have connected one USB, which is my Apple Watch charger. That's going to be in the permanent USBs. And then I have my Mark charger, which is in the out, in the Smart Plug 3. And as you can see, it's turned on because it has that green light over there. I'm actually charging my Mac. So yeah, that's what it looks like. I have started using it. As you can see, the uh, setup was that simple. Uh, and I just noticed something, which is a good thing. And is that this uh, Kojic outlet works via Wi-Fi instead of via Bluetooth. What does that mean? Well, it basically means that it will be quite faster. For example, this is via is Wi-Fi and the light that is pretty much <laughs> uh, illuminating the scene is via Bluetooth. So right now I'm going to make a comparison and you're going to see the difference. So if I jump into home, you can see for example I'm going to try to turn on the second smart plug right there and as you can see it is instant. Whereas if I try to turn on the light, it does take a little while. So that's pretty cool. And also probably because of this and I haven't confirmed this but I had to dig around in the Koji app because this is Wi-Fi and not Bluetooth there is a high chance that you will be able to control this wherever you are without a need for an Apple TV, a HomePod or an iPad that's always home aka a home hub for HomeKit so that's pretty nice and actually going to turn the light on again because illumination isn't the, the best and yeah, this is some great news for this smart plug that I actually didn't know. I mean, I've been using the If Energy for almost close to two years now, actually. <laughs> wow. And yeah, it's got a little lag, but in day-to-day -day usage, too, you don't really notice it. But yeah, it's quite nice. Also, you know that you can control all of your, all of your devices, HomeKit devices via Siri. And in iOS 12, thanks to Siri shortcuts, you can set up specific phrases for when you for how to control them. 
I will keep you updated with everything regarding this outlet whether it's here or in my Instagram so you can follow me, the link is down below but it's new of the times, you can see it somewhere around here and yeah, if you have any question please don't hesitate and leave me down below in the comments and I will do my best to answer also if you want to stay in touch with me don't forget to join my telegram group where we can you and I and many other Apple fans can talk together about Apple stuff. And finally, don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up to this channel to stay up to date with everything related to Apple as I post weekly videos. And I have a very, very big surprise that's coming probably in the end of the month. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, there's actually a button here. I just realized that it's like a dub button, but it does a cute noise. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.